Can we give Jesus the best hand clap? of it all you are worthy oh ya masala ya rabase to you oh you are worthy hallelujah Hallelujah. I'm ready. Are you ready? I want you to ask the Lord, prepare me to receive what you have in store for me. One, two, three, prayer. Marala mazare. Zana na na zana bazo. Come and they We say yes to you Clap, clap, clap. Come and move. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? Are you saying yes? We've not come for a man. We've come for this Jesus. I love you, Lord. Lord, one more time, by your grace, I'll do my best to give my everything to help your children get to that place in God where they'll have victory over every work of the enemy and they will move from having a few victories to having permanent dominion every single person that is here Every single person, the youngest to the oldest, Father, let them receive a touch from you today. Unequal, without reason, without missing, with no excuses, let your spirit locate them. 
Lord, you sent me here. Now I am asking you as that servant because you sent me. I have the right to ask you. Bless the people that you have sent. <laughs> Take everything that is yours tonight and have your way in this place. Thank you for the testimonies that have been coming. Thank you for the best testimonies are yet to come. Yes. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen and 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 amen. Last week I said oof last week was something of his own. I want to continue doing that. I feel the window closing on the book of Job. Okay? I just want to put it out there. I know for three months we've been on the last six, seven verses. But I feel like that the window is closing. Maybe we will have grace for one or two more weeks and then boom. Maybe we'll see if I can touch that today. because i may i mean we may have grace for that topic two more weeks and then we have to move on okay so it's a small window two or three weeks max i did promise you that something was happening last tuesday and that you'd go back and have dreams and i prayed for the lord to speak to you through dreams i don't know how many of you remember that yes yes and i said if you need help with interpretation i promise to help you <laughs> so i'm going to keep my promise So if you do remember the dream not not last year's dream yeah. not last night's dream if you dreamt that Tuesday night how many of you would like an interpretation don't don't be under pressure but only if you came prepared okay we have one person that's good that's good um so the dream i had it had like two parts to it So at first the dream it was very odd I was somewhere and it was me my oldest sister and her family so her husband her children um Cardi B <laughs> I don't know if you guys know she's like a pop star um I her, don't know I am I'm a very holy man of God <laughs> <laughs> It was me my sister her family Cardi B and her family and we were all like somewhere like exclusive having dinner And then we all uh joined our hands in prayer and they were basically saying like I wasn't really talking. They were talking and they were saying how we really have to stay like rooted in God and uh praying because like something is about to happen. Something is about to happen. The enemy is after us and we really have to stay focused on God. We prayed, we had dinner and that was that. So then the second part of my dream um was where it gets a bit scary. I was in my apartment. and i was just in the living room sitting and a woman comes in through the window like she breaks in through the window so right away i we i get up i'm like what are you doing here she's like she keeps telling me she's my sister um i have seven six sisters i have six sisters and she doesn't she didn't look anything like my sisters so i'm like no you're not like you need to get her to my home she keeps telling me she's my sister i need to listen to her but you know i'm telling her she's not my sister so basically i walk her out like i'm walking her to my door but then i feel like she's too willing to leave my home like for someone who just broke in she's way too willing to leave so something makes me look at the you said she is too willing to leave yes yeah, she's she was... too willing to leave so something makes me look at the peep hole on my door and i see there's another woman standing outside of my door so basically the her plan was to come in through the window to let whoever that other woman was like in inside my home from the door So I'm like, you know, who's that? And basically she's saying like they're both my sisters, you know, she's trying to convince me. And the moment she sees that I understand whatever their plan is and I'm not willing to let her out anymore, like in my head now I'm like I need to let her back out through the window because something in me knows that other woman on the other side of my door cannot come into my home. Like I just feel it. She starts like we start fighting. We start fighting and when we start fighting, she tells me I've come here to get what's mine. Hmm. and i have no and i'm i'm lit, like as we're fighting i'm telling her i'm like what are you talking about you know i'm not rich <laughs> i don't have any 
jewelry. Like, I don't have nothing. But she's just repeating. She's here to get what's hers. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to open the door. So we're literally fighting because I'm trying to stop her from opening the door. And at that point, the, the woman on the other side understands what's going on. So she's, like, banging on the door. So the lady who's fighting with me gets to unlock the door. But I have in my apartment, like, a door stopper. So if it's on, even if you unlock, like, you can't open it. Mm. So she unlocks the door. The other woman hears it and tries to open, but it's not opening. Like, that stopper is literally the only thing that's, like, saving me. So we're fighting, and then I somehow manage to overpower her, and I call 911. Mm. But, you know, just like in all dreams, when you have to speak, you can't talk. Mm. <laughs> so I'm, like, trying, like, uh, like, I'm trying to scream my address, not, like, my voice is not coming out. And, like, I'm trying to talk to the police while overpowering this woman. And... I'm just trying, trying to give my address, trying to say, like, there's someone in my home, like, I need help. Nothing is coming out. After a couple minutes, like, a little voice comes out, and I kind of say my address, but then the line cuts, and the dream basically ends with her kind of, like, letting go of, like, my hold that I had on her and us just, like, fighting still for her to not open the door and let the other woman in. That's when it, one thing Christians do. As soon as they see a bad dream they start praying against bad dreams. You need to know what the devil is up to. Okay, so this is God's way of exposing what the devil is up to. As I'm interpreting her dream, it'll, it'll help you as well. Okay. One thing I wanted to ask you, do you like Cardi B? Or like, do you, like, I'm not saying that you support her her craziness but do you, do you enjoy her music like you think she's okay yeah one of the things that um, dream realm is that you have to watch a dream and you have to know how much of that is god and how much percentage of that has adulteration in it now this is the same thing even with the vision realm when you see a vision that is why the bible says test the prophecies test test them why do you have to test because the ratio of how much comes there is a possibility that some things can enter that which is not god yeah. some things can enter that which is your human mind some things can enter that is your subconscious so you'll have to do that even with your visions and prophecies Like I told somebody, in a, in a service, if I see 100 visions, I may have shared 10. Okay? Because the other 90 requires careful study of it. If I am somebody who is going to go and say, I see this. Like even as you were talking, I may have seen at least 8 visions. But I'm not going to start saying things as I see it. Because it is information available in the air. It is information available in the atmosphere. It is over each individual. Every individual has information surrounding them. So that is why the Bible says you receive discernment by constant practice. Okay? Constant practice. That's the key of. So even the art of interpretation, the art of discernment, it has to be practiced. Okay? So now... When you are part of a service like that and I'm, I'm declaring, saying, let all the plans of the enemy be exposed. Already there is grace for you to receive dreams. Along with that, there is also adulteration that comes in. Some, you, you, each individual dream is different. Okay, but the way I see uh, she is in your dream, that itself I can tell you that it's just a, a part of it that is coming from somewhere your subconscious. So we can remove that part of the, the dream. Okay, you don't need to start worrying and saying, Lord, what do I do about Cardi B now? Uh, I thank God for the first part. Because that's the part that tells you that now you are under the, in, you're dreaming under the influence of a command. Okay? That is just God assuring you that don't worry, I'm going to show you something in the second dream. Already talking about it, you're shaking. Okay, so the Lord is being so kind to you by saying, my dear, you receive. I remember you were sitting there, right? Okay. I remember you were very, 
attentively listening and receiving the grace that was being released so god has a way of gently releasing the truth so the first part is god preparing you saying you need prayer you need prayer is preparing you for to expose the plan of the enemy okay i want you to understand something if you're a christian and you're not prayerful you're a sitting duck to the enemy okay i want you to i don't want you to be religious but i want you to at least pray for 5 minutes make it a habit for those who don't have any prayer life take it this is a key i'm giving you 5 minutes my young people listening to me 5 minutes don't go to bed without praying for at least 5 minutes 5 minutes okay but i don't know what to pray here's something you can pray for 5 minutes close your eyes and say god i don't know what to pray i don't know what i'm doing here that guy said i have to pray and i have no clue how to pray is it okay that i pray like this is it you won't be upset if i pray like this right because honestly i don't know what i'm doing here but i want to pray can you help me pray just do that start with that you will be shocked how much god will enjoy that Yeah, I'm telling you. I I used to do that when I was 16 17 years old. I used to just tell God, Lord, I'm very distracted. I am so bored. I don't want to pray, but I'm here anyways because my mother would put like a gun to my head. <laughs> She was my first mentor. She was like, "You you didn't pray. You 45 men go back to the room." She would chase me. So I would go back and tell God all the complaints about my mother. <laughs> but pray. but pray are you following what i'm saying you do this 5 minutes i'm telling you your 5 minutes will become 7 7 will become 10 then it'll be easy 15 minutes will be too little then you'll feel bad that you only prayed 15 then 40 minutes then 45 that's how it increases okay that's the dream god is saying is is developing a lifestyle okay after a while one hour will be too less so the second part of the dream there's a few things that you can interpret from that number one is that there is an enemy that will try to bring misunderstanding with you and your sisters and it has happened in the past even not directly connected to you but among them older group <laughs> but right now even as you are exposing the dream i want to interrupt that and i want to declare that none of that will come to you amen you are in talas i what uh, how many older to you how many younger to you Uh, I have two younger sisters and four older ones and then one older brother. I'm I'm seeing some of your sisters are I, I don't want to t- I don't want to talk too much uh in public but I'm seeing some of your sisters are very their words are very strong. <laughs> in a strong words yeah you don't understand how some people can become spiritualist just by words you will see some of them you will hear them say oh if she says it it'll happen have you heard that if she says it that itself should make you wonder like what's happening is it really her or is it a force behind her certain disappointments that are in them will try to break into your life that is why you're looking at her and that that lady is claiming to be your sister but you know it is not your sister yet it is a spirit that is claiming to be your sister and that spirit is not lying that spirit is telling you the truth 
because that spirit was with one of your sisters so that spirit has a claim over that over your sister and now she's saying that i am going to do the same thing the way i robbed her i'm coming to rob your house but tonight we interrupt the plan of the devil that spirit working with a second spirit that two spirits that is fighting your house two spirits two different sisters two different disappointments two different kind of disappointment two sisters two different again i'm seeing this this is your older sisters is that make sense yeah two of them are talking two of them are not no they're not talking <sighs> So we need to pray today for you. Before you see things that happen in their life repeating in your life by the grace of the Lord that is available for a child of God. We want to tell the devil no. Uh, you know there is something that gets me very excited. You will hear me saying this over and over again if you're with us. that the limitations in your family will end with you in every house god is looking for a deliverer every house in in joseph's in joseph's house he had like 10 11 brothers but god was looking for one joseph he said he is going to be the deliverer of the house if you mistreat him you mistreat your deliverance wow. you don't understand <laughs> look your sisters don't understand what you're doing they will look at you and they will say ah our little sister but they don't know that the little sister entered a meeting hey. last tuesday that is a high powered electric current flowing there that when you hold that wire that power is enough to go through that house and cancel sabodia i i remember saying this word last week and it's coming back to me i kept declaring it over and over again 100 years of limitation. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, yeah. I want to declare that. Yes. Some curses have come 100 years generationally passed down until there is an interrupter. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you uh do you remember once I talked about the interrupter? Yes. Job chapter 33 verse 22. Yea his soul draweth near unto the grave and his life to the destroyers. if there be a messenger with him an interrupter interpreter an interpreter one among a thousand to shew unto man his uprightness hmm. then then he is gracious unto him and saith deliver him from going down to the pit aha uh-huh. i have found a ransom i have found a ransom isn't that is that is a crazy word guys it's a crazy word if there be a messenger with him please not somebody who can pray for you somebody who is able to hear god's opinion and bring you that messenger and he's calling that messenger an interpreter meaning there is a message that comes decoded but now you find a messenger who takes the message and interprets the meaning of it like i'm doing right now you've read that verse before but i'm explaining the meaning right now okay that interpreter is one in a thousand okay to show man his uprightness meaning you've messed up here you've messed up there but if that one man can come to you and say hey let me show you one area that you got right 
that one area becomes the key for you to escape death please there's nobody that gets everything right but if you can get that one thing right oh yes wow. ah yes you messed up but you dragged yourself into the service you messed up but you refused to stay at home the bible calls him an interpreter okay and then he's saying then he is gracious unto him who is gracious who is gracious the lord is gracious the lord is gracious when you find an interpreter <laughs> my people perish without how do you get understanding <laughs> you find an interpreter the bible is clear he showed moses his ways so if you want to know his ways you have to find an individual that god has deposited his ways by finding that interpreter you've already found a rescue because that is what it says was 24 he and he said deliver him from going down to the pit i have found a ransom the voice of god is now declaring saying that he has found a ransom i have found a ransom, a ransom. i have found the message that you hear is the ransom did you hear that yes. the word that comes into your spirit the messenger brings a word that word is the ransom when you receive that word deliverance come because demons know word comes deliverance must follow yes. So let me finish with this. The one demon that is on the outside cannot enter that house on the inside without inside help. Okay? So there's this two spirits that is attack. So the way that outside demons can come in is if you will give ears to the inside demon. and if he can convince you that it is not the demon and it is your sister and you believe that it is your sister and now you start engaging with fighting and arguing with your sister and i see a domestic dispute that will then open the door for demons that didn't have access to you until then to come inside it's a hot atmosphere It's a tense atmosphere. Sometimes words can cause sparks and can cause fire. But this dream is going to save you. Amen. Next time you hear an argument coming from one of your sisters, just focus on eating that fries. <laughs> just, just say, mm, yeah, sister. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and just don't look up. Just remember the dream. Remember this instruction and say, I'm not going to... When she hurts you, ignore. Ignore. Because there's a favor of the Lord that will come from God that will lift you up. Yes. Yes. I was seeing a vision of a bulldozer and that vision is coming back to me. So sometimes when it comes two times to me, that's when I share. I'm seeing a bulldozer. the lord will begin to crush many things many hurdles mondre tebrokosia spirit of the lord says just when the plane is about to take off you have had limitations just when you think that everything is going to happen the enemy comes in to slow you down <sighs> but let the power of god let the word of god the bulldozer of god crush everything that the enemy has been throwing to slow you down let the season of victory begin yes as you celebrate her victory let it be for you so no need to worry about the dream okay i hope i've helped you relieved a bit It's not as bad as you thought it was. Okay? This is a 
instruction the lord gives before something can happen okay but remember it's not your sister it will look like your sister it is coming from your sister's mouth she's provoking it will it will happen during a eating time i'll give you so much more information it will happen while you are eating food very hurtful statements will come ignore is not your sister it's a spirit provoking because then you will fight back and then she will fight back and then you will say that she will say and then more demons come into the house do you know that is the single most effective ways demons have destroyed marriages in the church i tell you there is a window saturday before the service I'm telling you, we need to find the stats. Look at all the Christians. When did you fight the most in your house? Or it will be in our case, case Monday. Because Satan knows Tuesday she's going to that church, to that service. I got to interrupt her mind somehow. I have to tell, make her say something to her husband. And husband will say something back to her. Now you both are divided. Once you're divided, he enters inside. he cannot enter until he has divided you the yeah. bible that's why the bible says do not give him a foothold what does that mean does it mean that you have to go sin outside your house foothold you give with your mouth okay he's he's saying something and he's not kind to you he has a weird tone maybe he had a <laughs> you know the corona of the throat or something like that i don't know his throat his tone was not nice and you catch hold of that tone and you are now you have to get back and now you say harder things harsher things next thing you know there's a world war in the house and satan is like guy let's go guys one christian down ah you have to remember that let's say that it is your wife that satan entices to hurt you husbands be wise let's say that it is your husband that is become insensitive wives <laughs> hey wives you have more grace <laughs> please understand us husbands husbands are so quiet this is where you say amen and support amen. yes your brother is fighting for you <laughs> Yeah, keeping quiet i think you're like you know i don't want anyone to know that it's me so i'll keep quiet <laughs> are you getting what i'm saying yes when you see that the enemy is hijacking husband and he has a tone that is not a normal loving husband tone let him be just sympathize with that just like how we have a high priest that sympathizes with our weakness yes. sympathizes and just like go when he sees that oh the lord will touch his heart and if his heart is still not touched don't worry god has a way of touching him <laughs> let it not be you who touches him <laughs> i'm giving you a key when you keep quiet god will fight for you yeah but god is like i don't have time to fight for them because she's doing all the fighting <laughs> she when you defend yourself why should god defend you can you imagine hey you guys are saying you pastor you don't know how hard it is for me look you didn't have to come to your husband and say this is not your baby right imagine mary had to come to joseph and say brother how we got engaged <laughs> but the lord says hey <laughs> <laughs> even the most spiritual person was <laughs> like what do you mean the lord says i'm not coming back to your church anymore <laughs> right but that's what mary did and imagine what patient joseph was the bible says he wanted to quietly put her away hey that's character Eesh. some of you will be punching the wall uh, karate kick the air and 
it would be so dramatic but imagine joseph was like really can you imagine that moment i want to make a movie of that just two minutes that's it <laughs> just that part <laughs> when mary is like god said <laughs> this baby is him i know no man just god and joseph is like hmm It'll be an amazing short film. It'll be a viral short film. <laughs> man, that man of God. We have to appreciate him. His blood pressure didn't go up. He just, he wanted to quietly do it because those days, she would have got stoned. He said, if it is the Lord, it's between you and the Lord. It's okay. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. You don't go. I'll go. Are you understand? I'm not going to kick you out. I believe. Hey. When you do, when you have such a humble heart, let's say you genuinely have a misunderstanding in your marriage. Genuinely, you have a misunderstanding. That is a moment. Angels interfere. But man of God, he had to be that humble. Before the angel was like, wow, this guy is a five star guy. Yeah, yeah, so sad. The guy is not sleeping. Yeah, three days. He's not sleeping. It's better I go tell him that she's telling the truth. Because he was so humble. When you are humble, you attract angels to your house. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you argue, you attract demons. When you are humble, ah, manosa, tobasia. I'm, I'm, I'm led by the Lord to talk about this. Yes. It is my desire that my children, my three kids, will never see mama and papa fighting. May your house begin to attract angels. Yes. I love you Lord. All my days I've been here prophetic ministry even even the songs are god speaking to you i love you lord somebody say daddy let heaven come down to our family every past mistakes i correct it from today i will not struggle I will not take forever. I will be able to control myself. From today, for my children, and my children's children, and my generation's sake. Amen.
the lord is healing you your heart is being healed I'm going to slowly try and talk through this weight I'm feeling on me. I assure you by the time you leave your spiritual DNA is going to be glowing. I want you to understand the vision of this ministry and i brethren when i came to you came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom or a canadian accent <laughs> sorry i was reading king shaiju worship <laughs> declaring unto you the testimony of god for i determined not to know anything among you save jesus christ and him crucified sometimes people hear that verse and they think that we are to keep talking about the crucified jesus no when he says save jesus christ and him crucified he is talking about ad and bc bc and ad meaning he is saying when i come to you i just want to talk to you about the glorified christ jesus christ and him crucified meaning christ when three and a half years that was he was on earth, the way he functioned and the glorified Christ. This is my interest. I don't care about politics, guys. We are not, we are not a ministry in competition with any other ministry. We don't care about anybody else. We don't care who likes us, who don't like us, who stones us, who... T- no, no. We just focused on bringing you to Christ and Christ and Christ. Amen. And I can assure you, like Paul says, and I was with you in weakness. Amen. and in fear and in much trembling and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of god so the reason why our focus in this ministry is to bring the word of god and the power of the spirit is so that your faith will receive a new impartation yes, yes. new grace while i was coming i was looking at a a car and then i was realizing i said when you see that car move most people if you ask them what do you need for a car to move what do you need for a car to move gas right that's what people will tell you but they are far from the truth do you know the car need wheels <laughs> did you know that windshield ish if you don't know the need of a windshield you you'll probably be able to do 40 km the speed without a windshield because that amount of air coming in especially in canadian weather Oh, I don't to be blessed. Hmm? And do you know that the small pins inside your bonnet area where you open the the car hood and the small pins one spring is removed you will be sitting on the highway praising Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> one pin one tiny instant or whatever they call that ah little oil just pour a little water few drops of water <laughs> oh hallelujah are you understanding how much is required everything moving at the same time when you move a gear here things has to move in the front in the back and the bottom on the sides it takes it so much happening at the same time for a car to move and that is how many christianity 
is stuck. We have focused just on the gas. We've just focused on motivational sermons. We've just enjoyed sermons that says we need gas, just gas and go. Just pray and go. And then our children are no more attending the same church. Because you told them that's all you need was gas. And when they had a flat tire, nobody taught them how to change that wheel. Now they don't want your God. Because they've had too many flat tires and they don't enjoy the process of life. They start blaming God for the flat tire. When all you need was to show them how to change that wheel. <sighs> That's where the church has to become unafraid of teaching people the truth. I prefer to disappoint you by telling you the truth. Yeah. Then to tell you that it's okay everything is going to be fine come back tomorrow no 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 whether everything is going to be fine is not even in the hands of the lord because the lord already said it is finished <laughs> he said it is finished he's is doing nothing more anymore now he's waiting on you is now waiting on you to grow into his image and likeness Now he's waiting for you to have the understanding he has what he has given for people for for you to have a successful life on earth. Ah, I thank you Jesus. So I'm going to give you one small key today. Okay? We are going back to the book of Job. it's very important for us to pray for services like this pray pray don't don't come into a service like you're sitting in a professor's class we are not listening to any textbook we are dealing with a living word pray all the way from when you leave your house to the service cry saying god talk to me yeah. you have been part of the service long enough to know how the lord leads us So you know he will give you a tailor made word and it will be like starting at 7 all the way to midnight was a service just exclusive for you. Yes. Yeah. That's a part of prayer. Okay? So I'm 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 feeling we have to talk a topic. I think I'm going to answer your question that you gave about a month ago. Yeah. It was 22, right? Do you rem- do you remind me your question one more time? What w- was from verse 20 to what was your question? If Job brought it the destruction of his kids upon himself because he feared and he offered sacrifices on a daily basis for them mm-hmm. and then eventually he said um the thing I feared has come upon me. Yeah. So that was my question. Do you understand the context of her question? We we need to study that a bit. Okay. I know the Lord is leading us that direction today. I wasn't going to reach there in a few weeks but grace has brought us there today. Are you, are you are you interested in that question as well? What did Job do wrong? Why couldn't this tragedy be avoided? And one of the reasons like she she she's right there is in chapter 3 I believe. where you see job say were in verse 25 job 3 verse 25 for the thing which i greatly feared mm-hmm. is come upon me uh-huh. and that which i was afraid of is come unto me okay two dimensions where trouble comes two dimensions number one what i feared has come upon me okay and w- and that which i was afraid is come unto me okay he's talking about how fear has opened a door that has brought danger to his house okay when many people say why what was the 
reason why Job was attacked? What was the open door? What door did he open? This was one of the doors he opened. He was meditating about this. For a long period, this was his meditation of his heart. Okay, he's saying that for the thing which I greatly feared, meaning he would be sitting at home, sitting and thinking, what if one day a servant comes running and I'm watching him come and he's running crazy and then he says, all your children have died. And this thought would keep coming back and back. He would entertain that thought for the longest time. Every time the kids went out, he would feel very uneasy. When the kids were out, he couldn't sleep. He would be moving around, tossing around, waiting to hear that the kids are back home safely because his imagination would meditate on something terrible happening to them. And his, his fear was not an ordinary fear. The Bible says he greatly feared it. Oh. So I want you to look into your heart and say, what do you greatly fear? Help me. Some of you are staring at me. So look at your neighbor and tell them, what do you greatly fear? I hope they were not still staring at you. <laughs> were they nicer to you? Did they smile at you? Ah. What do you greatly fear? Look at the other neighbor and say, what are you afraid of? <laughs> okay. This, both are different. It's not the same. There is a great fear that one day my kids, something bad will happen to my kids. Something drastic will happen. Two, I am afraid of spiders. I am afraid of something. I am afraid of a sickness. I'm one, the first one is a meditation of a scenario. What happens if my husband dies? Now you say, what happens? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh I'm 60, he's 67, 70, so, uh, blood pressure is... Uh, uh, mm. uh, look at the way he's sitting. Oh, he's... Oh, my wife, he's, he's, he's snoozing. You, 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 you're creating scenarios. And yet you don't think that it's a problem. Satan enjoys it. The scenario you create in your mind is the permission you give to the enemy to enter into your house. The scenario you create in your mind is, can I tell you something scary? It's going to, it's going to be hurtful, but I'm going to say it, okay? The scenario you imagine in your mind is what caused that to happen in the first place that we believe God created everything with his word. What if I tell you the word was only the raw material? What God used to build was his imagination. You were part of God's dream. That he meditated on. That he hovered upon. The earth was without form and void. Within verse 1 and verse 2. There are millions of years of God just simply hovering over that which was formless and void. What do you think God was doing? He was imagining the universe, the Milky Way the galaxy, the earth, the systems, the moon, the stars, the planets. And then when he was done, it was already here now. You were here. 
and when it was done he said let there be light and there was light come brokosia he said let there be heavens so when you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 days boom 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 creation happening it was because millions of years the lord hovered over that which was formless and void and then brought into reality that was once in his mind you are product of god's dream <laughs> Do you think God just walked into the garden and like rolled some sand and dust and is like, "Hey, guys, just uh let, let's just put something on his nose somebody. This this is too flat. Just pull pull something out of his face." No, 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 no. You're not an accident. Amen. You are a masterpiece that was born in the mind of God and carved out. Oh, my Borussia. So, I'm I'm giving you a key right there. How do you create something out of nothing? You have to meditate about it. Okay? This is why the world has copied the 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 mantra from the Bible. What do they do with yoga? You're on which side? I don't know. Yes. So quite I say I say are they upset with me for telling the truth now? Hey, are you on our side or what? Yes, yes the, the devil has created nothing original. But the church has given up everything and the world has become more powerful because the world is now practicing principles more than believers. Yeah, this this is the ngabubi. You should be the one closing your eyes and saying hallelujah. And you have to imagine. You have to sit there in your room and just imagine good things happening to your children. Ah, I feel the anointing. I can feel it. It's already touching your body right now. Kabasata. every fear that has been in your life for the last 30 years i cancel it in jesus name there are times when i look at my kids and i say what if this happened to them i catch my thought immediately and i slap that thought out of my head i become violent hey some if you're there around me at that time you, you, you will like something happened to the man of god pray for him yes but that's how you have to react because that thought was not you that thought was a demon weird scenarios what if it happens and you christians you're like ah it's just a thought that came no 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 sister there was a demon asking for your permission Ah, talk to me now uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. there was a demon that cannot activate itself without you giving an expressive permission you meditating and now demons can see your meditation did you know demons can see your meditation again we are rock your boat ministries <laughs> pastor is very upset with that line he's like whoa 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 Okay, you, you want to ask me a question you can. Go 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 ahead. We we like questions in this ministry. Thank you. Thank you dad for this opportunity. Um you just said I that. I like your shock. I want to know what shocked you. <laughs> you just said an inflammatory statement. <laughs> um I I'm sure it could be religious, but I am sure that demons cannot read your mind. Mhm. but you <laughs> okay hold hold your thought god told habakkuk okay go up the tower and i'm going to talk to you and then he said look what i will say not hear what i will say he said look what i will say 
the more real tight that's why i said i like your questions we got to ask questions we don't want to, you to believe things because it was said here there are people with microphones i mess up christianity we need to ask questions the manner of the spirit is not the manner of the flesh because in order for you to hear physically you have to hear in your physical ears but that's not how it works in the spirit realm in the spirit realm the way you hear is by seeing why else every single time god would come and say son of man what do you see what do you see i will stand on my tower to hear what he will show yeah go ahead prophet habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 i uh-huh. will stand uh-huh. upon my watch okay and set me upon the tower that that that, that is an explosive verse i don't want to touch it today because that's one of my favorite ones okay go on and we'll watch to see i will watch to see huh. what he will say <laughs> unto me did you hear that yes. you have to watch to what see. to see what you don't like it eh <laughs> okay i'll give you more verses <laughs> go, go. go to job how does god speak in a dream or two but man does not hear it man does not hear it are you sure is that what it says but man does not perceive it ah uh, you, you really think satan is coming like i want to see what's in your brain no 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 he has other ways to read you <laughs> I don't know how how deep I should go because there's kids around there. <laughs> so Satan is not peeking into your head to know what you're thinking. He can watch you and know what you're thinking. These psychologists they can look at your body language, the way your feet is pointed, you know, the way you look, the way you squint your eyes, the way you touch your hair. the way you move they can tell you what is happening that psychologists now you're talking about demons that have been with human race for 6000 plus years okay he has other tools that psychologists don't have satan can smell on a in a higher dimension do you know dogs can smell fear right dogs can smell fear. Oof. I I didn't know that level of that statement until I had a dog myself. Like, hey, you can't hide your fear from the dog. The dog almost changes the posture of the body when it sees that, hey, I smell fear. All of a sudden, the puppy that was like, ah, oh, don't do anything to me, as soon as he smells fear, it, it gets confident. Wow. I've I've seen that with my puppy. I said, this is amazing. Imagine the devil Imagine the devil. He knows in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. And the devil is like, she doesn't believe it. <laughs> and you're like, why does the name of Jesus not work? It's not the saying that works. Because Satan knows the scriptures more than Christians. So it's not the scriptures that work. It's the faith in the scriptures that work. Ah brokos the other. Is somebody learning today? <sighs> My goodness. Let me explain it just for some people so that they will sleep well tonight. When you look at an individual and you have blessed thoughts, science has proven that certain hormones are released, certain chemicals are released in your brain. whether you realize it or not when you feel an attraction certain chemicals are released just thought just thinking that so satan all he knows is okay i want her to believe a lie okay 
So Satan will put a thought into you. He's whispering about your child. Okay? And then all of a sudden, he's now monitoring you to see if you took the bait. And then he's studying your chemicals being released in your mind to see if fear is being released in your brain system. You'll be shocked how even your body will release sweat in such small levels that you can't your your skin your eyes your your physical eyes cannot see it but it is being produced on your skin and guess who sees it satan and you're sitting there already sweating and you don't know you're sweating but your body is already sweating out of fear and satan is studying you and now he can tell you're already entertaining the lie that he brought and now you already Jesus and Satan is like that's it guys it worked now he's waiting for this thought to be nurtured and what do you do you straight away call your husband uh, i just want to say be careful while you're driving huh <laughs> i just feel like ta you should you should stop that you should stop that that's not god that's the enemy using yeah. your powerful imagination how about you you get up and say i know who i am you have the grace you have the grace don't imagine the worst because the christ in you Ah my bro Satya the Christ in you is the hope of glory Christ is not coming to do it he's waiting for you to do it Hey your amens were very weak on that one I'll keep preaching that until I can hear proper amens on that Because the way your amen says I can know how much of faith is there in that When I say Christ is not coming you're the one doing it you're like Amen. <laughs> you say I believe it but really are you serious man of God? Yes, we got to change our thinking. We got to change our thinking. I'm shown to brokus lerantaya. Me brokus lerantaya. Rose brakasia. Father, may we be the extension of God's hand on earth. Please. There's something beautiful happening in the atmosphere. and i want to help you receive it 30 seconds clap your hands and speak in tongues take it holy spirit fire rise in Jesus mighty name Oh 
that put fear in your heart the fear that came to you from your childhood that fear that was passed down to you from your mother it's leaving you right now <laughs> all my life you have been so fear tear out the lies of the enemy you shall have good things happening to you people of god can i tell you we owe the lord an apology we owe the lord an apology sometimes fear comes so so spiritual fear looks so spiritual is it do you know what i'm talking about i remember calling my mother one time and i said mom you have to stop this and she said no we just need to be careful i said no and in the name of be careful be careful be careful i said you have caused my heart to fear and she started sobbing she said are you telling me that i caused your fear i said no mom i said you have been the most wonderful mother i could have ever asked for I said I'm going to hold on to the word. 
there is no prophet greater than the word of god Amen. i don't care who is calling what do i know my god is faith i told her i said i am done being afraid i said because i i am a student of life and the student of the holy spirit i studied i said how am i so fearful and i realized the bible says god has not given you a a spirit of fear that means if there is fear in you somebody gave it to you one more time the bible says god has not given it in other words god is saying don't blame me for your fear somebody else gave it to you and sometimes in the name of be careful be careful just be wise just be wise fear was transferred to you marota rabasia you have to tell the lord all my life you have been so so good but i have lived half my capacity because i allow fear out la rosi ki brusi andalusia i cancel fear deep rooted fear can i can i can i can we crack yeah the skull of the enemy yes. Uh, yes. if he has any skull left that was not already crushed at the cross can we flog the enemy yes. and say after today yeah 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 i'm coming against every work of fear that was sent against me sholota rabasia let's begin to tear it apart in the name of jesus abros haramase you know what your fears are you know the scenarios that keep coming into your mind begin to confess that begin to repent of those scenarios open your mouth if you kept feeling that an accident would happen open your mouth and say lord forgive me for not trusting your goodness i declare i will fear no accidents in my life i tear this lie next time even a glimpse of this thought come i'm going to slap the devil out of my mind that thought cannot stay in my mind not two minutes not even a second i'm hearing the lord say I'm hearing the Lord say you read some article and from that second you've been worried about cancer right now I stand as a man of God and I come against the poison of cancer and I declare it shall not touch you free kasata prasataya free satan i cast out that spirit of fear of cancer out of you in the name of out rataba let there be light in this room zato brakasia every spider web that was preparing you for cancer i expose it to the light of jesus and i declare to you all the days of your life you there shall not be a single cancer cell in your body 30 seconds clap your hands and receive it seeing a very powerful vision in the realms of the spirit i see a massive scale huge massive scale and i'm seeing enemy dump garbage into that scale 
and the lord is telling me the enemy has always tried to cause that garbage to be so full and then the scale falls that is what the enemy has been trying to do just put fear 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 about your child fear about your child and now finally the scale tilts and now that which was never before now begins to manifest on earth because the scale is in the realms of the spirit we all know that how satan is is the ruler prince of the air and he throws garbage throws garbage until now the weight causes the scale to come down to earth and the garbage now spills into your house merinda basia da rababa tonight is a prophetic night yes. we are getting rid of all the garbage yes. imagine how beautiful your life is going to be you shall not have a bad death yes, yes. there's only two ways that you will leave this earth one if the if the return of the lord is delayed you will grow age gracefully ah you better say amen young people and the young people are like i let mama say amen on this one <laughs> i declare nobody will have to take care of you even at your full age your knees will be functional i declare you shall not lose your sight the the cater, cataract the I'm, i'm hearing the cataract in your family will not come to you ela masete ya lareriaria zareriaria zarea zarara larana darara lirara se lay a night night and day let in sins arise day and night night and day let in sins arise tonight i want you to know the word yes. has cancelled death yes. if there be an interpreter yes. ah. i feel free Uh, tonight I sleep like a baby knowing I have done exactly what Jesus wanted me to do and you are free in Jesus name and you will sleep well tonight when you're driving and you feel like accident is coming your spirit has to be louder than that lie brozo to to the you have to you have to hold the steering and saying oh yeah mam rosela taka woo and you have to tell lord no accident deer turn around you know the deer is the jumper no 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 somebody told me their brother three deer hit him in one year i i said hey, he needs to come to a church You can talk to the deer say dear I'm coming please stay in your boundaries I have to go first come on are you understanding it no 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 you are in charge of your life life will not decide what happens to you that's the old you you shall be the manifest glory of god on earth abruzo <laughs> tabra I want you to imagine those that don't have children begin to imagine how your next pregnancy is going to be 
imagine that don't imagine like mama tini did because then i became the midwife <laughs> see whatever you imagine make sure your husband is also okay with it because she kept telling me it's going to be a supernatural delivery i'm like yeah 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 i didn't if she had told me i would have at least googled what should i do next i had to call the ambulance i'm like the thing is coming out what do i do next <laughs> so please whatever you you imagine you please discuss with your husband make sure he's also comfortable with that okay but i want you to imagine safe pregnancy if you have the faith believe god for a painless pregnancy rato broko i'm telling you grace is here right now so i'm declaring it because i know it shall come to pass my young people believe you shall not drop out of your class you shall be the highest in your class you sh- your job is waiting for you you will not have lack debts be cancelled in jesus name business doors we open in the name of jesus every evil imagination we bring it down mam rosa tana baba sia is that not why you see apostle paul talking about tearing down of imaginations tearing it down yes everything that is questioning the purpose of god the intentions of god you tear it down there is a thought in somebody's head that says that i i, I will not be married i will not be married i tear that down right now in jesus name ah in jesus name father let heavens be opened above your children let your name be lifted up father i can i can i am telling you this is not just a statement this is a prophetic statement i'm making i smell freedom that death the, the stench of death has left you i'm telling you yeah bakas I see some people that have been like you, you are in the kitchen but you are forgetting even to put salt because your mind was so weighed down. Oh. Get ready now you can go and make some food with salt. Yes. Yes. It is done in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you because the word of God is the highest level of prophecy. Amen. We thank you for enriching us with empowering us with the word of god tonight father let your children discuss practical strategy on the way back home husband and wives give them grace to discuss what they will utter what they will not utter going forward let them have a practical strategy of how they are going to create an atmosphere that attracts heaven on earth no more in their life evil scales shall not tilt against them The only scale that will tilt for them is going to be the scale of favor. Amen. We release grace, mercy and favor over your children. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Amen.